you know, at this point, I really do need a good run. And it kind of stinks. I mean, the way that I see it is very pragmatic. You know, it's like this thing happened. This is the outcome. I'm here now and I need to get back to here. How can I do that? The only way I can do that is to ride my bike for four hours a day. Like I need to literally be training maybe twice a day, you know, not four hours each, but you know what I mean, doing huge workouts. And um, that's how I'm gonna build up that foundation. And then I'm gonna be able to put intensity on top of that. And then that's gonna bring my whole, my whole thing together. But I can't, I can't be so hard on myself because I have made a lot of improvement and I've done a lot of good work. I had gotten a parasite at the end of 2006, 2007. I came in, I rode the tour of California. I had blood in my stool for like 10 days. And then I got bilateral Achilles tendonitis. I ended up not racing that whole rest of that summer. But when I came back to the cyclocross season, I had my best season ever. It's the harder times as an athlete is like how you overcome that. That sounds very cliche, but it's super true. It's hard to overcome adversity. You know, I make myself believe that I'm going to be successful. Good morning. Slept good, slept well, no complaints. Just ready to rumble. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a mess out there. You ever like play out in the snow when the ground's really hard and then you fall and you're like, ah! Actually at this race, at the check, there was like 2010 I think was the world's there and it was totally frozen. Yeah. And I came around this corner and it was the only time I made the front page of the Belgian newspaper, but I did for this spectacular crash that I did. I have that somewhere. It's not one of the ones that I put on the wall, unfortunately. Jeremy, why don't you get front page? <laughs> well, my fitness is good. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Supercross in the snow. What are, uh, how do you sum up the course conditions? It looks like soupy and runny. Like you run, but maybe the course runs too. <laughs> it looks nasty. I asked, uh, I asked Meyerson and another person uh, what to expect for the pre-ride and, and they said, don't. <laughs> The woods are rideable, but it might be faster to run just because there's definitely some roots and rocks hiding under there. Doing good. Fantastic, guys. See, when I see this, I think these people have demons they have to get out of their body. Like they feel like they have something that they, <laughs> they need to get out. Like, why would you do this? You're a bad man. Shorts and short sleeve. Just kind of taking a lay of the land. It's gonna be a big effort today. Uh, so we are here in New Canaan, Connecticut, uh, doing the, I guess, be the fifth and sixth round of the Northeast uh, Cyclocross Series, Vittoria Northeast Cyclocross Series, also known as the New England Cyclocross Series for many years. Anyways, we're here for the third round, also races five and six, uh, which is happening in Suffern, New York. Okay, we have to make a serious, dramatic exit. Yeah. Run, run, run. All right, thanks. Yeah. That one, where he took his gloves off. Do you remember this? He took his gloves off in the last lap, and it looked like this. Wait, you're talking about the one like 1999? No, later, 2008. Oh, the second time. Yes. The second time they went. Yeah. Somebody <clears throat> took a YouTube of the start from the right-hand turn, yeah. held the camera out. You see John coming around. He had a good start when he was first 10, first 15 guys. <laughs> He goes straight into the guy's <laughs> camera, and that's the end of the YouTube. <laughs> and then he had to drive all the way back to like Winston Salem alone. <laughs> uh. Favor? Yes. Just discovered the brake pads are shot, yeah. so we're gonna yeah, take him out of his pads. other bike and put him into this bike. And never done it before. And sure. I was wondering if maybe you could just like give a little talk to her. Sure. <laughs> that would be so great. Thank you. Current leader, <laughs> 
but right now we have just please please <laughs> let me have one Kitch, come in here it's pandora's box <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Kind of just, we're just trying to watch the bike race and then i blew it up technology uh -huh. <laughs> okay, sorry, that wasn't that funny. It was, I was trying to be funny, but it wasn't that funny. This is gonna be, gonna be a hard day. We're... Nate, how are we doing? Great. You feeling good? I feel great. Are you feeling relaxed? I'm relaxed and ready. Do you feel strong? Super strong. How is your vitality? Strong. Strength? <laughs> Strength. Strong. Okay, strong. Okay. Uh, mental acuteness. Sharp. Because right now they're all taking care of hopping back on the bike, trying to be able to do a riding section, not wanting to run the entire the number one spot on the podium, racing for Park Avenue bike, it's Merritt Sheffield. There you go. No, we were waiting for Ella. I think yesterday was a good show that I could really uh, finish half the race. So um, I'm hoping to finish the other half of the race today. Is that how that works? From Pac Team of Fuji Sram, Jeremy Powers. Maybe that pays off. That, I don't know what that will pay off, but that's going to pay off in a way that, like, when I'm officially retired and done, I'll look back and I'll remember, I never want to do that again. I didn't even know I helped you and I helped you. Yes, you did. You guys are great. Yeah, we got, we got, we got kiddos that are very happy. Hey, you guys look really happy. Yeah. <laughs> that weekend Spencer is calling the Uber and we are going to the airport to go to New Mexico, Albuquerque. Stay with our buddy Robbie. Robbie is going to uh, set us up in the small home that's next to his. The question is, you're probably wondering, are you happy with that? You didn't finish. But the thing was, is they could have pulled me, but they didn't. And then I would have gotten 10th, but I didn't really, in my own mind, was like, nah, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't want to be, A, I don't want to be lapped by Curtis. That's not... I'm, I'm trying to beat Curtis in a month, so I'm not looking to, you know, and I mean that on like a sporting level. I like Curtis, but on a sporting level, I'm trying to beat him. I don't want him to have that mental thing. 
and I think I got out of it what I needed. My heart rate was elevated for the entire time. We'll see, hopefully, hopefully things go in a good direction. I'm, like I said, excitedly optimistic and I think I'm going uh, in the right direction. And yeah, today was good technical handling skills. I didn't crash at all. I just kept it in the zone and worked on bike handling. And yeah, that's a feat in itself. I give everybody that went out there today and, and kitted up and started that race a lot of credit because yeah, 32 degrees and uh, flurries with, uh, with full mud. Come on, we got, we all have a little bit of, we're all a little crazy. Even this guy, even my mechanic. Nate dog! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Nate dog, you got anything to say to the camera? It was brutal. It was brutal. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just eating a Nutella and almond butter sandwich. Here you go. Oh. My favorite. Sometimes, sometimes when I'm cracked, I go for the bait glaze. Spence and I have been out here <clears throat> just beating on each other's faces in this sunshine. And this is for Carlo. Carlo wanted a couple of clips. What are we doing out here? Yeah, we're not just hanging around gambling. We're, uh, we're riding bikes. <laughs> we're doing something. <laughs> Although the, there is a lot of scratches in there that I was looking at. They looked enticing. I mean, I got a couple bucks. We can just waste some more time. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. We're out here in New Mexico, currently climbing. I believe it's a tramway, that's what they call it. It's uh, about three hours in. Just dropped Spencer off. He's got a massage or something. And uh, I'm gonna try to get in another hour. It's beautiful. 63 degrees and uh, heart rate's still down. I haven't, haven't popped yet, so I'm pretty happy about that. I won here last year, so that was that was awesome. But the first time that I raced it, and the one that I remember was uh, was a sprint finish with Todd Wells, and it was 2007. It was my first year on cyclocross world. I remember that my wife, my now girlfriend, had just broken up with me. I was very angry. I had dyed my hair. I had the tail coming out of the back. I was ready to kill. Training camp went really well. Things went uh, as, like, literally as good as they could have gone. So, yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see. It's a little, uh, it's weird. I haven't had any nerves all year, but I think just having put in the amount of work that I put in these last, um, this last 10 days, I feel like there is something there now. So maybe there is, like, hope that I can race at the front. It could not have gone any better than it did. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. some skin in the game, now I expect something from myself. I was definitely thinking a lot about today's race and maybe, yeah, maybe it was just good to go out and do a race. You know, you can never replicate what, an, what a race will push you to do.
I'm gonna, I'll think about it. <laughs> On the way home, I'll think about it. Yeah. I feel as, as though cyclocross is, is, at, a, is at a unique place. In, a, in the American side of the sport, I think is in a unique place right now. And it needs to have some light shined onto it. And so I felt like if I can do that through some videos um, and just tell people what's going on with me, I think that that would be, that could be beneficial. I felt better than I did in Northampton, but I didn't, uh, yeah. I don't know, I just didn't. Something was missing. I don't, I don't really know what, it just was, it just, just wasn't quite. But I have to be kind of myself a little bit because, you know, where am I coming from? And yeah, it's, it's easy to get ahead of myself, I think. But like I said in that last episode, it's just, yeah, hopefully there's enough time to kind of put all the touches on this. I, yeah, a lot of things run through my mind is, can I, is there enough time? You know, am I strong enough? Do I just need some high-end work? I don't know, all that stuff is just, I'm pretty much an open book. <laughs> Over the last six, seven years of doing a show like this, maybe even Ted, I don't know how many years we've been doing it, I think a lot of me is out there. Um, so, I mean, what you see is sort of what you get. I think a lot of people will be like, he's not really like that. He's not, he's not really like that in real life. Like, I know, there's no way he's like that. It's all edited out. But, and then after like, you know, seven years of watching the show, they're like, actually, he's like that. <laughs> he's actually like that. Uh, but I think now, you know, as I'm older, a little more tamed down. What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> Uncle Alphonse. Uh, I like helping people feel better. Like so the, the majority of the people who reach out or leave a comment, thank you if you do, because I read them all. I'm sure Keech does too. <laughs> um, but they, they say thank you, right? Thank you for inspiring them or thank you for pushing them to, uh, to, like, to draw that line in the sand and to move forward. Yeah, so I think that that's, that's good stuff. Oh God, it's gonna be nasty out there. There's gonna be, there's a lot of roots, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that all plays out. It's gonna be like chaotic, I think. just adds a really fun factor to it and like everything that was sandy before is now just kind of like a really fun berm so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day uh, we're thinking it could be like a miniature toy poodle good I've never in this course uh, wet before so I'm interested to see how like the sand holds up whether or not it's gonna be like hero dirt or if it's actually gonna have puddles do what you can, man. Stay dry in this place. Oh, a little. If you like wet roots, it's wonderful. <laughs> but a little slower than yesterday. But definitely, it just it's sloppy. So you have to watch the people around you falling and kind of pick your lines really well. The key is just to get out in front and kind of get ahead of the riffraff. Hey, we're here at Cycle Cross with Sean Capizzo, no, aka Narragansett uh, Phys Ed Teacher of the no. Year. 2016, 17, and hopefully 18. Make it count. Well. <laughs> chorizo. No, yours is chorizo. Mine yours is. I thought you had chorizo. Carnitas. Oh. I'm excited. Whatever. <laughs>
Yeah, you'd I finish. Like you'd finish the race in Switzerland, and then you'd get a little a little hot toddy. Mm -hmm. No, it's as soon as you can get your head above the bar. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the drinking age. That's serious. I'm like, yeah, that's been in Europe. That was my first time in Europe. And my first European race was a Swiss World Cup. And I jumped the barrier at the bottom oh, of this yeah? hill. Yeah, yeah. And then they took the barrier out. <laughs> yep, it was better. Definitely a lot better. I got a good start. Uh... Yeah, I think it's uh, it's just high-end power now. You know, we blew out the cobwebs yesterday. But yesterday was frustrating because I expected something for the effort that I did and I didn't get anything um, that I was at least ha happy enough with. Eighth place is, is fantastic if you look at the picture of where we're coming from. I mean, I'm happy. I think it's, I think it's uh, if I look back at New York and, and like how bad that was, and if I look back at Northampton day two and how poor I did there, um, there's no question that the that the trend is up. There's like 14 days left to, to kind of put the uh, the icing on the cake, if you will. Uh, I'd like to put some whipped cream and a cherry. Going back tomorrow uh, to Albuquerque. I fly tomorrow. I'll meet up with everyone in in, uh, in Kentucky. But that's what I need to do. That's what I feel like I need to do to to make our true run at this at this uh, national championship it's cool <laughs> it's cool that that we're getting this um this opportunity and this chance and and things are going in a good direction